morning everybody it's Gina today's Monday April 1st April Fool's Day boy I have pulled me off some doozies in the past on April Fool's Day it's almost like you know you're free for a day <laughs> you have permission <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna leave that alone but I will say one time in life I pulled me off a doozy that what now older decades older I think how in the world could you have done that to that woman but let's just say I had a boss of mine a lifelong friend of our family and she was my boss at the time believing that I had just this dire straight situation and I mean we were both sitting at her desk crying and, and this situation had been occurring in my life and see how bad it is I don't I won't even tell you what it is because now in hindsight when it's so prevalent around the world I don't know what in the world I mean literally I was young and stupid but I pulled off this April Fool's and finally we're sitting there just both crying at her desk and she said seriously Gina are you re for real I said no April Fool's she, I think she got up and slapped me across the face. I'm pretty sure she did. And she, and I deserved it. It's probably in my early 20s, maybe mid-20s. Her name was Mar is Marilyn. Her daughter worked for me at the bank for years and years. And then since then has just been, they're just lifelong friends. But yeah, I was just so mean. Um, another time I called Tom and told him that I wrecked his truck and just upset his day and of course he gets to the like well I'll be right there I was like don't worry April Fools and he's like wanting to slap me but he's over the phone I'm ornery I pick ornery things just terrible things my boss uh, he just told us this past couple of weeks I don't know exactly he said uh he was out working in his backyard. He was building a pool. They just moved to another town. Tracy, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, they were out in the backyard working, just working away. And he had all four of these teenagers, his boys and another boy there. Working, working, we're hot, hot day. And he uh, went in and said, oh, I made you guys a glass, a, a picture of Tang. Okay, apparently in that family they love Tang. I haven't had Tang in 40 years, 50 years maybe. I don't even know. I, don't, I know I've had it, but I was little. Uh, and it was... I don't even remember what it was, but something that was orange and sour. And, oh, I remember what it was. He put... <laughs> Oh my lord, it must be a family thing. He put macaroni and cheese mix in water and blended it up to make it look like tang. <laughs> oh, the goofiest things that Christians do on April Fool's Day. Yeah. So, I won't April Fool you, I promise because it's a pretty serious week for us. Um, if you don't follow me on Facebook and you're wondering where in the world have I been, um, I'm just on here in this little quick trip to work just to let you know where I've been and what's been going on. My father-in-law passed away. The funeral is this Wednesday, uh, or the viewing is this Wednesday and the funeral is on Thursday and and we knew uh, the hospital told us maybe 10 days, nine days, I think, before he passed that it could be at any time. So there was a lot of extra, you know what I mean? Extra during that time. And so that's where I've been. 
Anna, so this is just a quick update to let you know where I've been and what I've been doing. And um, as far as diet and uh, health and fitness, I, I gotta be honest, I haven't really been paying too awful much to Weight Watchers per se, like I haven't been tracking or uh, anything like that, but I also have lost more weight, and it's not a lot, but we're talking now 15 days. I think, um, I mean, I know I was battling <clears throat> at a nine, hoping I didn't go into the new decade, and today I weighed at a three. So, uh, so I, I'm down about seven pounds. And I think I attribute that to, I mean, of course, stress, of course, a lot going on, but uh, I think I attribute it to not thinking about it. <laughs> I've enjoyed not thinking about it. And um, I didn't go overboard, but have I had some ice cream every now and then? Yes, I did. And did I lose? Yes, I did. I'm just gonna take a moment and tell you right here, I've just kind of given my health and fitness over to the Lord. I'm tired of dealing with it. And it's taken so much of a weight off of me to just say, you know, I mean, the Bible says to cast all your cares upon him for he careth for you so if he cares about me you know even more than I care about me then he could help me along in this in this journey and um, my peace level has just tremendously come in and I don't I'm not stressing about it I mean it, when it happens it happens and do I believe it will yes I do before when it was all me and I wasn't including him in this portion of my life I just thought, you got in this mess, you're gonna have to get yourself out of it, Gina, stupid Gina. You know, that's kind of the mentality that I had. Uh, but since I've been including him in it, I seem to be having better days. I'm a little more mindful. Um, I think there's some prompting from him whenever I am going to make a, a rather poor choice, you know, maybe not every time I think he has a lot more grace than I do. he does have a lot more grace than I do for myself so um, that's kind of where I've been I'm down quite a bit um, I don't know exactly and honestly I don't care and there's the difference I don't really care as much um, of course, do I want to lose weight? Yes. Do I want to get healthy and fit for my grandkids and to live long, healthy, happy life? Yes, I do. But I am not letting it consume me anymore, and I'm so much better for it. So there's my update, and I will be back whenever I get a chance. So I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless.